Hello everybody, this is Henry Lee. Today I'm going to show how to hold the brush and use the brush correctly. First, uh, you need to sit straight up, not lean to the side. You know, uh, your, your feet are on the same level on the ground. You cannot cross your, your uh, legs like that uh, or like that. Uh, so two feet on the ground and your, your back is straight, not uh, bent. And the hold of the brush um, like this. First, um, three fingers, uh, the index finger and middle finger um, and the thumb hold the brush like this. Then the ring finger and the small finger um, from the inside. Okay, this is the correct way. Uh, the advantage of this, rather than the way you hold like a pencil, a pen, is um, we use this three finger to twist the brush. So twisting is very important to control the brush directions, unless you uh, have a special habit to paint with a banded brush bristle. If you want to keep this brush in a straight position, always you need to twist and alternate the directions. By the way, you always wash or soak the brush first to begin with, not use dry brush hair to load ink. So I soak the brush and then you use a paper towel to absorb the extra moisture out. Okay, so the brush is now soft with water, right? Then you load the brush with the uh, ink. Sumi ink. So when you paint, you turning uh, movement when you change directions. Like uh, if you do a long line of uh, orchid leaves or blades, you'd start the brush and go to one direction and uh, kind of twist the brush. So the, the brush is not banded, right? And you can twist the brush between two strokes to um, straighten it like this. So I start the brush in the opposite direction of the bend. So now it's a straight, right? Notice the movement of my arm. Actually, you, you um, use the whole body to paint. The chi or breath um, come from the bottom of your feet, you know, and then to the shoulder, and shoulder move the arm. So your whole body involved when you draw a line like that. And there's twisting of a brush. You can twist the brush by rolling, so uh, it's always straight, relatively, you know you can alternate, you know, to make it uh, straight. But um, the advantage of a soft brush is uh, it's responsive to your uh, movement, your, your arm and your hand. Um, without the spring um, of bristle, like a hard or stiff hair brush. So I like the uh, feeling of the soft brush because I have more control, not controlled by the uh, brush, but you know. You can do this exercise on newsprint or newspaper if you like. Twist. When you change directions, and then you see I twist the brush. Originally it was this, and I twist. Go to the next one.
So your wrist is moving, uh, not fixed. You should do a circle like that. Also, your arm can move. So you, you, when you do everything moves, it's a, a live stroke, not just a, uh, a straight line or a curve, but very flexible. Let's do the, another one from this direction, the same. So kind of, you also alternate the pressure, press, lift, and press while you move. So always change, uh, so kind of rolling, twisting at the same time. This brush is made of uh, baby's first cut hair. Um, so it's a very delicate hair brush. And it's very soft. When you have a soft brush, uh, unless you turn the brush, change directions, it will bend without the spring back. Uh, unlike the stiff brush, which has another use, in other type of stroke. This kind of stroke is good f uh, for long, uh, sensitive uh, strokes like uh, orchid. It's very famous, you know, uh, kind of uh, lines. Let me show you. Okay, now a turning brush stroke. Up, change directions. And uh, sometimes I twist right there, and the down. So this is a slow movement kind of demo. Uh, when I go fast, you won't notice it, but that's what happens. Now I, you know, I if I don't twist the brush, the brush would be like that. Now I the I turn the brush this way, turn the handle. So the next brush starting from this direction. Press. Lift, turn, and uh, fold, kind of. You can have a brick in, in the turning point. But the idea com completes without brick. So, twist. And twist, you know, so, so my brush head is always straight, right? If you don't twist, you will see the, the brush keep uh, bending and never comes back. Uh, this is the character of um, soft brush. The very sensitive, very responsive to your um, movement. You can you can uh, you record all the details. Now I dilute the ink with water to get the gray to draw some orchid uh, flower. See, I always twist uh, the brush. Twist. Twist. Twist.
And here's a picture um, done by a customer who uh, came to our studio yesterday and uh, tested uh, this uh, baby hair brush. And he seemed to uh, enjoy it. You can see this is uh, his work. He's a uh, one year experienced Sumi student, a Chinese painting student. And this one is another student work, uh, also less than one year experience with a baby hair brush.